Morning guys, it's uh, Jupiter Droid here of Hemadroids.net. Um, just going to show you how to overclock your Desire Z. Right, first things first. Visionary. So we go to here, Visionary. And then we root now. And that will root your phone. Okay. The root is a temporary root at the moment, so every time you restart your phone, you will lose root and you have to root again. Okay. And you copy and paste this www.openscodes node 14. Copy that. To, to, yeah, paste that in. Enter. And you just click on that. To download the file that will download to your desktop or wherever you've told your computer to download its files to. Okay, you then buy or download set CPU. If you do download it, please can you um, donate to the developer because it's an amazing okay. app. Next step is to make sure that you have HTC Sync installed because this will install the ADB drivers needed to copy the file across to your phone. Okay, so now you go back to the computer. We'll minimize this. Go to. I know the Apple signal's horrible. And you go to there, CMD you're going to write in here, and enter, and that will bring up your command line. So you can see the path at the moment is C users magic. Right, you're going to either change this path to the path that you are, you have this file in. Or you can just move that file to that folder and then you can just simply put in ADB push vision underscore OC dot KO and then that goes to data local there goes the data local so you would just do that and you connect your phone to your computer while you do this because obviously you're transferring the file to your phone so and then you just press enter and that would work it's probably doing it again now <laughs> yeah device not found my phone's not plugged in so it won't find it but it will find yours when when you do it okay so the next step is to go back to your phone and to download a terminal emulator so when you download this terminal emulator you go into it I'll do this the best I can with this camera and you're going to type in su first to give to give this app super user permissions then it will just go to the next line and in there you will put this insmod that's the value I use but you can go higher or lower to your preference but I would never ever go above 70 because I don't really want to push my phone that far but 70 gets me 1.344 so um, that's plenty for me okay so once you've put that in it will just enter to another line and then you can just come out of that you go to set CPU and then what you do now sorry go to set CPU when you go into set CPU it will come up with that what you do then is go to menu there'll be device selection here you can't actually see it on the camera because 
so it's blurring out the device selection is now and then you just do auto detect speeds which is the second bar down and then that's it you'll be overclocked to uh, 1.344